Ready? Okay. Hello. Here we are in Sedona, Arizona. We're on Southwest Drive. And uh, right there you have the State Route 89A that runs through all of West Sedona. Uh, we have the uh, Arizona Airport up there, which was uh, number one scenic airport in the nation for over 50 years. And uh, as you can see, we have a uh, vacant field. And then to the left, you have some of our uh, rock formations. There's Coffee Pot and Thunder Mountain. And right across the street here is the fire department. And right over there is Sundowner, our local dive bar. So this building itself is actually on the corner and wraps around this bed. And it's in L shape. Our unit in particular is the lower left, unit six. spectacular view of the rock formations and um, the field. So in just a minute, because the door's locked, we're going to actually walk around the back and we'll restart the video once we get inside. Coming around the building, it's actually quite a cute and quaint um, little walkway. Most of the year, these vines are actually blooming, and it, it looks pretty cool. One thing I liked about this building more than anything else um, was that it's very quaint. It's not very a professional, um, elegant look. It looks like it's something unique. Right here in the corner is the uh, Awakenings Yoga Studio. They're also like the number one largest seller of singing bowls, Tibetan glass bowls. They're um, probably going to be really fun to work with. In the back here we have limited parking just like in the front. I uh, should have mentioned that. That was one of the, um, the cons, unfortunately, of getting the space was that there's limited parking in the front. And the back is not, you know, the biggest parking lot. So again, here we have the lower unit in the corner, number six. This is a private entrance that goes into the back room of the unit, and this entrance here is a, a shared stairwell, stairway entrance, which is shared between a few of the units, including number six, and there's also a, a shared bathroom in the stairway. Right down here, since um, the, the space is going to be a transformational um, space doing a lot of different things potentially um, one of them being spa services um, we're thinking of putting a paver patio out here right in front in this main parking spot little gazebo and having a jacuzzi hot tub out here um, and hopefully having another wall like that one just for privacy um, just for the little space here let's go inside So we're now in the back room of the unit, and uh, it's a pretty large room, it's the biggest that we have. Um, these double doors here separated from the rest of the space. Um, a lot of ideas have been had about what this room could be. Um, it could be for couples massage, it could be a boardroom for conference meetings, 
with the whole whiteboard and projector screen. Or um, we could put a couple of showers right here and have two 10 by 10 sauna and steam room combo. So that when you walk through here, come around this way, there's a couple of showers to rinse off and change before you go into the hot tub. But then when you come in, you can also um, enjoy probably the most beautiful sauna and steam room in Sedona. So let's go look at the rest of the, the space. And maybe get a backward shot of this room from out here. Love the brick wall. Absolutely stunning. So anyway, the, the electricity is not on right now, otherwise you'd be able to see more, but this is um, the door that goes up to the stairway into the shared bathroom, which our, um, our guests could use. Right here is probably where we're going to have um, a little bit of like an armoire or like a laundry um, hamper for all of the, the massage linens. Let's um, jump up all the way up to the front and go to the reception. So here we are again, the big window in front with the glass door. Over here is probably, we've had a lot of ideas, but this is probably the, the prettiest wall, this one or that one in this room. So we were thinking of doing a reception bar, possibly an electronic kiosk for checking in for members that come here regularly. Um, but just imagine that we have a really nice wood looking, um, reception bar here with um, uh, a flat screen TV playing like a picture of our business name and a couple of looping videos of some of the things that we offer here. Um, again, it's a, it's a nice room. Um, if you look out the window, you can still see a lot of the rock formations and it is quite a, uh, a pleasant uh, scene, especially after we put some planter boxes out front. This wall over here, um, again playing off of the whole spa theme, um, this wall could potentially be a, a full um, waterfall that um, either like a copper or pebble stone, but um, some sort of natural looking water feature. And right here would probably be um, maybe like a folding futon, something somewhere for some people to sit, as long as the like a coffee table and or um, you know some basic refreshments while you're waiting. Let's go check out the rooms. As you're looking down the hallway, you can already see that there's a, a decent amount of natural light with there no lights being on in here right now. And I really like that. Um, what you'll see is that in this room, it's actually um, quite dark because there are no windows. It's not a, a wall outside facing room. So we are probably going to install a, a window skinny but long across the top there to let the light from the front into this room. In room number one, room number one is a beautiful room, except for the current blue color that I, um, no one likes. So after we paint this room um, and put in a nice armoire um, or dresser where things can be stored, this room can be quite a few things. It can be an interchangeable um, massage room for a massage therapist. Um, with all of the, the things, hot stones and hot water and all the oils, everything that they would need, linens. Again, there's another really nice view out the window to airport road, up to the Sedona airport.
Anyways, um, the room can also be interchanged with um, different furniture. If you wanted to have um, a meeting with some of your clients, you wanted to do a counseling session, we have um, talked about having a hypnotherapist come in here. It can be an interchangeable room. Right across the hall is the darker room that I was telling you about. Quite large of a room. You're not going to be able to see anything, but we're actually thinking of playing off of the darkness of this room and keeping the whole spa theme involved here. Uh, we're thinking of turning this into a Himalayan salt cave. Um, gonna cover the walls, the ceiling, and the floor with Himalayan salt and really transform this room into a healing um, as well as all these rooms are going to have sound system so that you can receive certain sound healing frequencies while sitting in here and receiving all the um, respiratory therapy qualities that Himalayan salt can offer. You can also put a massage table in there or some lawn chairs just to take a nap and put the salt. Room number three, we have another window going outside, and um, it's another fairly large room, perfect amount of space for a massage table. Um, originally, we were thinking of making these two front rooms with the windows, um, primarily merely for um, massage and spa services. Um, same thing with the other one, the furniture can be interchangeable and quite a few things can be done in this room. Local therapists can rent it out by the use, or they can, um, we don't really know yet. It's a, it's a brainstorming process we're going through right now. Woo okay. This one is uh, the smallest room that we have. It's kind of like a nine by nine room square. It looks like the wall used to be open between this and the salt cave but it looks like they filled that in. Um, we're not sure if we're gonna use this yet for storage, for interchanging the, the furniture in the rooms, or um, we actually have, uh, we could do an esthetician in here, or um, if we don't go ahead and build the 10 by 10 sauna and steam room combo in the back room, we could put possibly like a six person freestanding sauna steam room unit in here. Um, we're still thinking about this room. Could also house some of the local homeless. Anyway, coming back into this room, um, just wanted to go over that um, Obviously the walls are gonna be painted. We're thinking of a purple combination with a kind of like an olive accent um, or vice versa, the whole purple and olive. And then with a slight expression of mustard yellow. Um, and the floor is going to be acid washed to make a very marble glossy finish. And I think that's going, we're going to kind of go with like a bright, kind of orangey, like a wood orange, and really bring in some light and reflect that like marble look. Along with painting the walls and adding tons of trim wherever we can. The trim's going to go on the floor, the ceiling, the door frames, and just to give it that nice, handsome, um, sort of masculine finish. Um, Something cool about the space is that this back room is separate from the rest of the mid rooms, and this has its own private entrance. So this could potentially be its separate entity. It could be something totally different as long as it was symbiotic with the rest of the things that go on here. So um, I guess I'll, I'll open these doors I'm really happy that there's two of them and they're, they're somewhat identical. Just this whole yin and yang thing going on here. We have a closet right now with some shelving. And um, 
it's probably going to function as a closet in the beginning. But, you know, I thought of, I'm always trying to think of ways to bring in more light. And this could potentially be our first temporary shower that we turn into. We could open this side of the wall up and let the light from that window kind of come in to the shower. And um, that could work. In here we have a, a gas heater furnace. It's very um, attractive. Oh my god. There's a swamp cooler for the, uh, the cooling aspect of the unit. Um, the other thing is that, um, you know, if I want to change these doors out, uh, I like having double doors. I think it's great to have them open. Um, I think it's really good for pictures and having it look really attractive. So we have both the doors opening. It just gives this really cool and um, engaging feeling to it. As well as these stairs, I'd like to double the length, the length of them um, so that we can have both these doors swing open and come right down, rinse off some of the, the chlorine or whatever from the hot tub jump into one of our new saunas. Um, but having these doors have the, um, having much more glass on them to let in even more light, as well as the doors behind you there um, entering the room. I'd like to make those um, a, a, a smoky glass or a plexiglass so that the light from here can even get into the hallway, as well as the door that's going up into the stairwell, which has plenty of natural light coming from the glass door going outside it. I'd like to replace that door with um, a glass panel door as well to let in more light. Um, one last thing. Once the light comes in from the stairwell, this smaller room right here just like in that front salt cave, I'd like to install another skinny but long window along the ceiling there to let in all this light into the room to save the electric bill. Alright, thanks for watching and um,